Welcome to a game-changing video that's all about your financial well-being. In this exciting video, we're diving deep into the world of finance, money management, and how to break free from those bad money habits that could be holding you back and keeping you poor. Being poor is the result of habits. We learn poor habits from our parents and those around us as we grow up. And when we go to school, the education system teaches us how to work for money, but doesn't teach us how to make money for ourselves. Today, I'm here to share with you seven of the worst money habits that could be sabotaging your financial future. But don't worry, I'll also provide you with practical tips on how to break free from these habits. The first bad money habit is getting too comfortable with bad debt. It seems like debt has become the norm these days. People use it for everything, from buying small items to gifts and clothing. Credit card companies make the bulk of their money from three things. Heavy interest when you don't pay on time, fees charged to cardholders, and transaction fees paid by businesses that accept credit cards. Strictly, never buy a thing that you can't afford to pay up front unless it is an emergency. Remember the importance of paying yourself first and start building a financial buffer. This way you're prepared for unexpected expenses and can avoid falling into the bad debt trap. The second bad money habit is unhealthy diet. Health is really important and many people have no interest in knowing. Fast food is loaded with carbs and lacks fiber, causing your blood sugar to rise and potentially leading to weight gain, cancer and type 2 diabetes. In experiments on mice, researchers at the University of California in Los Angeles found that eating high sugary diets, such as cakes, cookies, jams, jellies, crackers and carbonated soft drinks, for as little as six weeks can make one stupid. Whereas fatty fish, like salmon, rich in omega-3, benefit memory. Blueberries, packed with antioxidants, support memory and cognitive functions. Turmeric boosts memory, alleviates depression, and aids new brain cell growth. Unhealthy diet is actively ruining your mind and your body, and in effect you cannot perform at 100% of your potential. As a result, you never figure out potential ways to improve your financial position. Third bad habit is paying yourself in wrong order, the author of Rich Dad, Poor Dad. Robert Kiyosaki explains two contrasting habits when it comes to managing your finances. The poor people's habit is paying yourself last, meaning you pay your bills and expenses first and save whatever's left, if anything. On the flip side, the rich people's habit is paying yourself first. You take a portion of your income, let's say 15%, and put it into your savings account the moment you get paid. Treat it like paying a bill. This simple shift in mindset can be a game changer in the long run. Number four, not knowing your income or expenses properly. Now let's delve deeper into a prevalent issue, the lack of precise knowledge about your income or expenses. This is indeed the stepping stone to gaining control of your financial life. Let's unpack this further. Being conscious of your income and expenses is paramount because it helps you make informed decisions. It's akin to a roadmap, leading you to your financial goals. When you're unclear or uninformed about income and expenses, it's effortless to plummet into a financial pitfall known as lifestyle inflation. This is when your expenditure escalates in direct proportion to your income increase. It's a precarious position to be in because it often leads to a never-ending cycle. Of it this way, it's like being on a financial treadmill, constantly running but never really moving forward. On the other hand, smart and financially savvy individuals maintain a meticulous record of their and expenses. This is not merely an exercise in bookkeeping, it is a strategic move that yields substantial benefits. It helps them set crystal clear financial goals, equipping them with the power to strategize, and they can forecast future expenses identify potential savings, and guide their money towards profitable investments. By doing so, they are not just dreaming about their financial future, they are taking tangible steps to achieve it. The fifth bad money habit is indulging in expensive hobbies. While we all enjoy a bit of retail therapy, it's vital to exercise conscious judgment it comes to spending. Being mindful of your spending means tracking your expenses, setting a budget, and sticking to it. Avoiding unnecessary purchases and focusing on needs rather than wants can ensure you don't overspend. However, improving your financial position doesn't merely entail saving money, it's also about harnessing opportunities to make more money. The ideal approach is a blend of prudent spending and proactive wealth generation. 
Look past conventional methods like cashback sites and delve into a plethora of ways to your income. For starters, you can consider investing in stocks, bonds or real estate. Another option could be seeking a pay raise at your current job. Remember, it doesn't hurt to negotiate your worth. Alternatively, explore the idea of starting a side hustle. This could be anything from freelance work to setting up an online business. The world is your oyster. It's crucial to keep in mind that unlike saving where there's a limit to how much you can cut down on expenses, the making money side doesn't have a cap. There are endless possibilities to how much you can earn, given you're willing to put in the time and effort. Hence, don't restrict your earning potential. The sky is the limit when it comes to enhancing your wealth. Number seven on our list is the heavy burden of paying too much in taxes. Taxes, often underappreciated, are a significant financial factor in our lives, perhaps the most significant. They directly impact our take-home income, savings, and ultimately our wealth. Educating yourself about the often complex and intimidating tax rules can not merely save you money, but can also be a powerful game-changer in your financial journey. Wealthy individuals have mastered this. They possess intricate knowledge about legal corporate structures that not only help in optimizing their operations, but also come loaded with tax advantages. These include but are not limited to setting up trusts, creating shell companies in tax-friendly countries, and utilizing tax credits. They utilize the services of professional tax advisors to strategize, plan, and minimize their tax bills effectively. This approach to tax planning might sound complex, but is often the key to preserving and growing wealth. On a more accessible note, there are options available to everyone for sheltering income from taxes. For instance, individual savings accounts, ISAs, and Roth individual retirement accounts, IRAs, are popular investment vehicles that provide tax benefits. The advantage of these is that they allow your investments to grow tax-free, and withdrawals during retirement are typically tax-free as well. Even if you prefer to pay taxes as your contribution to the community, understanding tax rules can help you align your tax spending with your values. By knowing where your tax money is going, you can make informed decisions about your financial support to public projects and causes. So, understanding taxes isn't merely saving money, it's about claiming back some control over your financial destiny. Hence, it's worth getting ahead of the game. Last but dangerous financial habit is procrastinating on investments. The initial step towards sound financial management is building a robust financial buffer. This process entails setting aside a substantial amount of savings that can cover unforeseen expenses and financial emergencies. Once you've managed to create this safety net saved a significant amount, it's then time to think about strategic. Letting your money sit idle in a bank account for extended periods may seem safe, but it can actually lead to financial loss due to the silent predator known as inflation. Inflation slowly erodes the power of your money over time. A dollar today may not have the same buying strength a few years down the line. Once you're ready to invest, it's vital to not put all your eggs in one basket. Diversifying your investments across various sectors or asset types helps to mitigate risk. For instance, you can invest in stocks, bonds, real estate or mutual funds. This way, even if one investment doesn't perform well, the others can potentially compensate for the loss. Diversification helps you weather different financial storms and ensure that your money keeps growing consistently. Avoid the trap of letting your money lay idle when it could be actively working for you through wise and varied investments. Remember, the power to shape your financial future rests squarely in your hands. A pivotal part of this is harnessing the right mindset. It's not just about wanting financial stability, it's about consciously making daily decisions that contribute toward this goal. Paying off debt, budgeting wisely, and cutting unnecessary expenses are all part of the action plan. But don't forget, taking action alone doesn't guarantee success. It needs to be complemented with strategic thinking and a clear vision. Once you're on the path to improving your financial situation, it's time to focus on making your money work for you. This is where smart investments come in. 
Whether it's investing in stocks, bonds, real estate, or even starting your own business, the goal is to create a diversified portfolio that yields passive income. This is the essence of making your money work for you. It should generate revenue even when you're not actively working. Remember, taking control of your financial future isn't a one-time event, but rather a lifelong journey of continuous learning and strategic decisions.